Hello, buddy. Oh, God, I don't like it. She looks incomplete. It's going to look like a little tiny penis. Gorgeous. Oh, hello. Present and erect. Welcome back to another episode of Andy's MG Adventures. Now, last time, if you watched, you'll know I got her through her MOT. Well, this time, it's all about radiators. The other day, I wanted to check her coolant. Uh, the expansion tank was a bit low, so I checked the radiator. Upon taking off the filler bolt, something happened. Yes, the whole thing came away. This should technically thread into here, but the actual soldered ferrule that sits in the radiator broke off. Fun and games. So, what do we do? Do I A, buy a brand new radiator and fit? Option two, buy a second hand radiator and fit that. Or number four, and that is to try and fix it myself with the help of Dave. You remember Dave? Let's take a look at Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> so the option is, let's try and put this back in there by soldering these two bits together. Now, what that means, of course, is that I have to take the radiator out, which means flushing the whole system, taking off the front grill, removing all the hoses, and then removing the radiator and cowl. Not done this before, it's gonna be an exciting adventure. Let's give it a go. First step is to remove this bad boy, the front grill. My first glance and checking the manuals, four screws here and two that I found so far underneath the vehicle. I'm guessing it's the light underneath. I think it's, there's one there and there's one on the opposite side. First step, grill out. So we're gonna give it a go. Let's um, get some light on the matter. This should just come away. I'm gentle, like that, and she's off. Oh God, I don't like it. She looks incomplete, I hate it. It's a little melodramatic. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that is. That's disgusting. I don't know if you can see, half of that radiator is absolutely, no wonder she gets overheating. Oh, and that's why one of the horns doesn't work because it hasn't got both terminals connected. I should have done this long ago. Next step really is to drain the radiator. So we are now in the bowels of Margot. You just see down here, this is the bottom of the radiator. And as I'm taking out all the hoses and coolant, I'm just gonna basically try and take this hose off. So it's gonna spill out everywhere because there's a lot of fluid. Gotta watch the fins, of course, on the radiator. Also gotta watch the fan itself. I can feel water and... That was full to the top. Now you can see the fins in there, underneath the car. A bit of splashing, but I've caught most of it. A little bit of a puddle at the back. But that's good, that's really good. Next one is gonna be actually taking, disconnecting the hose that feeds the thermostat here. Uh, and then there's also an expansion tank flow pipe here. And then I think that's it in terms of how the radiator is actually attached. So that's the thermostat hose disconnected no fluid out of there now we've got the expansion tank needs to come off this little jubilee clip down here there we go that's the expansion tank hose that was onto a little tiny little ferrule thing you can just see that brass knob <laughs> sticking out so that's that hose disconnected now technically the radiator is disconnected let's see if we can get this radiator out so the first step so there's a couple of screws here, one there, and then there'll be a couple under the car as well. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. We'll see if we can get it out. It's a 
recently. So to get the radiator out, obviously you disconnect all the hoses. Then there are four screws. One, two, and just down in here, you can see where the recess is. Three and four. Those two bottom ones are meant to be captive nuts that go into the shroud, the cowling. They weren't captive, the captive nuts had sheared off. So I had to get a spanner on one side and a spanner on the other and then hold one in place whilst I turned the other to stop the, the nut and bolt from spinning. Got those out. Then there should be four more uh, bolts that hold this in and I can only find one. They're accessible through these holes here. But there wasn't one there. There wasn't one there. There also wasn't one. Um, they're sort of underneath the car through there. I will try and get underneath and show you. See if I can show you. Oh yeah. So it goes just where you can see here. And there's one either side, but again, there was only one. Because this one wasn't attached either. There it is, see a lot clearer. So now it should lift out. This whole radiator should lift out if I'm very, very gentle. Watching the fan. It's catching on something. It's the lower pipe. Gently does it. Pipe's out the way. And she's out. One radiator. Now I'm going to attempt to reinstall the fixed radiator. That's right, Dave went ahead and did it. You can see there, all nice. I've got a new brass nut there and a rubber O-ring as well. There's a bit of damage. You might just be able to see if I get the light on it. Yeah, doesn't look great, does it? But the rest of the radiator was completely covered in mud. So I've gotten rid of that and now it actually looks okay and I've been told the core is fine so I'm gonna just go ahead and refit it. It should be working a lot better anyway. The first step really, I'm going to um, just replace a lot, a lot of these hoses, get that done, then it reinstall the radiator, make sure that's secure, then start filling her up. I've also got a new thermostat gasket because I've noticed this one's been a bit cruddy. Round here, I thought, you know what, I've got some Hylamar. Let's just get that down. So I've plus gassed these. I'm going to change this hose anyway. It's all going to come off. Um, first things first, we're going to change all these old tired hoses. So wish me luck. So we've got the replacement one for this one. It's going to go down here like that. I need to get this off first. That is a tired hose right there. Free it up and then. Come on, girl. There you go. Oh. Come on, sweetheart. Over you go. There you go. On you go, love. There you go. Okay. New hose is on down here. Just could put a Jubilee clip over it. That's going to go to the bottom of the rad once it's in. Time to do this one here, which is the hose from the expansion tank. This one, as you can see, is very tired. Twist and a pull. Hopefully it will come away. I don't know when the last time this was that it came off. Here she comes. It's going to look like a little tiny penis. Oh, look at it. Present and erect. So I've cut a bit of piping. Um, the one that came with the kit was too massive in comparison to um, this one. Uh, it was too much of a loose fit and I think this should be snug even before it's tight. So I've just used another bit of pipe that came with the kit. Next job is to remove uh, the one down here, basically. So I'm hoping it'll just come away. It's never the oh dear, she is crudded up. So, the pipe has come off. I'm going to give that a quick clean up down there and then affix the new pipe. And we should be good then to do the last one, which is the thermostat. Oh, 
<gasps> so, new hoses are on now. Um, new gasket for the thermostat's got to go on, but let me show you. So we've got a new one down there, which will have another Jubilee clip when it goes on. We've got new one down there, which feeds into the water pump, which then feeds into the heater up there. That's all done up. And we've got a new one on the expansion tank. So basically the radiator is going to go in. Once I've got another Jubilee clip ready on that one, radiator will go in and hopefully then it's ready to start topping up and getting ready to rock and roll. We'll see. So now it's going to be trying to get this bad boy back in, which is going to be a little bit of a, a squeeze, I think, but I'm hoping it'll work. Um, we'll see how we go, but it's about getting these two here to line up with the holes under there. And once they're lined up, we can then screw those in uh, to these captive nuts, which are still captive, thankfully, um, as well as then down the bottom and then as well as, uh, yeah, everywhere else. So we'll get there. I've just popped the radiator properly back in. So um, I also noticed that this bit of trim had slipped down under the car. So I've taken all this loose again, pulled this up and you can now see it's level up here. It kind of rests across this seam. Uh, and yeah, the first pipe down here is in and tightened up. So it's now time to take this puppy off because you can start to see it's getting a bit manky around there. So I thought get a new thermostat uh, gasket, get this all off, get it all nice and cleaned up again and get it all nice and tight. There we are, a quick tidy up. Just giving it a good old scrape round, got that old gasket off. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. So, um, all the hoses are on. Now, all nice and tight. So I'm gonna fill up the radiator here. Got my coolant mixed, 50, 50, well, it's more like 60, 40, um, with coolant and water. I did a lot of Googling about tap water versus distilled water versus, um, rainwater and my rainwater isn't collected cleanly enough so I can't use that um, and I don't have any distilled and my father-in-law suggests just, just using tap water he's always done so I'm doing that I'm sure that'll upset a few people anyway so we have filled up the coolant it's not quite all the way up to here yet but it started to just trickle out of here so it's now full up underneath underneath this thermostat here so I am going to re uh, install the thermostat with this lovely new gasket, give it a clean up, high Lamar gasket, a bit more high Lamar, uh, this stuff by the way, and then um, on she'll go, tighten down, and then uh, I'll attach the hose there, keep filling her up until she's full here. This is half full already, and she's good to start. Hose is back on and tightened. Thermostat is on with the new gasket tightened down. Coolant, you can just see, I don't know if you can, is filled up. It's gonna put in the new cap, tighten it up, run it for 30 seconds, let it get up to temperature a little bit, top it up again, do some running, etc. See how we get on. Moment of truth. So far, so good. I'm timing 30 seconds. Success. Um, I'm just gonna let it cool down, then I'll check the expansion tank and um, open up the radiator filler cap again and top her up. Uh, but there's no visible leaks, uh, which is amazing. So I'm gonna put the grill back on, jack her, oh, take her off the jacks, and then take her for a spin to the shops with coolant and tools just in case. We shall see. 
I've got two sort of floating captive nut clips that live on there. There for the two locating holes down there. So everything checked, just gonna lower her down now. So, just gonna go for a little drive now, see how we get on. There you have it, all done. Hoses replaced, radiator, ferrule fixed. Thanks, Dave. Remember, Dave? Let's take another look at Dave. What a ledge. And first test drive done in the middle of school traffic in 28 degree heat and she performed just as well so uh, I'm a happy boy so if you like what you saw hit subscribe come join me there's gonna be more fixes next one is probably gonna be uh, fuel line replacement fuel hoses because uh, it's about time they were done and also um, I'm gonna need to sort her timing out because ever since I changed to electronic ignition um, she's just not ticking over very happily so yeah that's gonna be the next big thing as well hope you guys enjoyed 